Hi, Brittany. Hi. <laughs> Can you please just state your first and last name and then spell them for me? Yeah, so my first name is Brittany and my last name is Smith, and you spell it B-R-I-T-T-A-N-Y-S-M-I-T-H. All right, pretty basic. No, I'm kidding. Pretty simple. <laughs> so this semester you're enrolled in your senior capstone course and your Cabrini Digicom major and social media major. You're almost ready to graduate, so I have a couple questions to ask you about your experiences and up-to-date things like that. Mm -hmm. So um, in what ways have you grown in your multimedia story? telling skills since you were a freshman and explain. So since I was, well, when I was a freshman, I actually started out as an education major, so I did not see myself having any, uh, multi, you said multimedia storytelling skills, correct? Mm -hmm. So I didn't have any of those. I didn't think I did, at least. Um, I've always been, like, a pretty strong writer, so I feel like as of, like, growing as a freshman or a sophomore, when I really started to develop my skills, um, I've taken my writing skills and been able to turn them into creating, like, social media pieces and multimedia Storytelling, so like taking videos and taking pictures and putting all of that behind my writing and turning that into a full piece instead of just having the writing aspect to it. Sounds great. So it's like you integrated everything into one. So um, we work a lot with social justice issues. So what has been the most important social justice related initiative that you've worked on to date, either here at Cabrini or outside of school? So just describe that a little bit to me and why it means so much to you. So I um, actually last year had the opportunity to go to Guatemala. Um, I took a year or a semester long course about advancing for change in Guatemala, and I actually I had the opportunity to go for a week and spend my spring break there. And we um, got to walk hand in hand with the community of San Lucas, which was a really interesting um, and different aspect in this short term study abroad because a lot of people go in with the mindset that like oh we're Americans we're better we know what you need and. But what was different from my experiences, we went and we listened and we heard what they actually needed. And then we worked hand in hand with the people of the community. So um, that was probably, the it was life changing for me. Um, but it really taught me that there's so much outside of the world that I've been living in my for the 21 years of my life. And then um, I got to come back and use my voice to advocate for uh, foreign aid and for issues that the people in Guatemala don't have the chance to use their voice and fight for things that they need. So that was probably the most important thing I've ever done in my life, <laughs> let alone the most important social justice initiative I've taken. Sounds really life-changing. Yeah, So was. um, just to like end things off, I just would like you to complete this sentence for me. After graduation, I want to use the comm skills and social justice, justice knowledge I've gained in the comm department to... So I would like to, so like I said previously, I had my eyes open last year while doing like an experience like that. So I would like to maybe work for an organization that um, does similar things to what I did last year with the Guatemala trip. Um, so maybe like travel and use my skills like as not only as a communication student, but as somebody who attended a school that had such a strong social justice focus um, to I guess make the world a little bit of a better place and kind of open up people's eyes the way that that experience opened up my eyes. All right. Well, thank you so much for having the Skype interview with me. Thank you. <laughs> I really enjoyed it. <laughs> me too. Me too. All right. Thank you. All right. Bye. Bye. <laughs>